assalamu alaikum and welcome to another exciting video on it and automation academy's youtube channel in this video we are going to talk about another very important topic if you're automation engineer or SCADA plc or instrument and control engineer this topic is really vital even for industrial iot engineers this topic is very very important we talk about cloud connectivity of industrial plants this topic is really vital in this topic actually we are going to cover first of all how to extract a data from s7300 plc to opc server first of all and then from opc server to a SCADA software in touch you don't need to have a real hardware for this exercise we would be using a simulator s7300 plc sim to connect to OPC server and then OPC server would be connected to in touch SCADA. All you need to have here is you need to have a Smatic Manager installed and you need to get a Net to PLC SIM which we would be shortly showing you how to. And then what is the purpose of this Net to PLC SIM? It would actually give an insight or it would give a feel to OPC server that it have a real plc connected to it so it would not look like it's a simulator because if you directly try to connect a plc sim simulator which is s7300 simatic manager simulator directly to the capware or opc it will not work in order to make a connection you have to have a net to plc sim software installed on the same system so uh, and then this net to plc from net to plc sim you would actually get a data on opc server first of all we have to come up here open up this matic manager software so once this software open you have to just create a simple tag remember here so when you are selecting a cpu always choose pn type cpu a cpu which actually support profinet which is a siemens ethernet protocol then you have to select next and select on the ladder click next you can create a project name as opc so we would be actually getting the data from that project to a plc we are creating a sample we are creating a small project of one analog and digital signal and we would extract these tags on opc first of all so in order to do that, uh, we are coming up and trying to get a bit logic simple. This is I0.0. And then you are going to give it a memory bit, which is M0.0. And let's take a simple, which is M0.0. M0 let's take another network, where we are actually trying to get, take a move command double click on move click iw2 and try mw2 here network one is simply uh, just like a light bulb that you have in house when you press this button i0.0 this m0.0 would be high and the second command is you're copying iw2 to memory word 2 so input word 2 would be copied to memory word 2 so let's let's simulate first of all quickly on the simulator that's what i was talking to you that we would be using this plc sim to connect to opc server all you have to do is you have to download this program first of all and then you have to run it and turn on these classes sign it would give you a uh, you know some view here also when you press this i0.0 .0, you would see the output is there then the moment you press this uh, value 50 for instance you should see a 50 value here it's, you have to come up here change your presentation make a decimal you can see that iw2 which is a 50 value is moved to mw2 so let's try to get that data now on opc server before getting into that if you get back to the slides you can see here we would be requiring a next thing is net to plc sim software so this is net to plc sim software you have to make sure here if you are not going to run as administrator this would not work so you have to make sure you have to run as administrator 
so now you see yes try to stop the service yes so then uh, first thing is you have to click yes to it select ok and after that you have to select even again make sure that you actually get that 102 port which would be required for a communication select ok and then when you come up here back you would see that plc sim is not now active here so all you have to do is you have to close this and open it again so get back here open it again when you click this when you click this simulation you would see this guy open up so now you have to run it again before running it you have to make sure that it's downloaded once again you have again you have to download it and try to make sure that whether so with that whether that is running or not so you have to click i0.0 you'd see the m0.0 is high and you can give it a value 70 sums exactly and then you can see that from here whether you can see the 70 is written there so now here you have to click on add here you have to select the network adopter ip of this system so I'm just using this 192.168.70.1 you can cho choose uh, you can definitely choose your adopter IP address the next is a PLC SIM address which is 192.168.10.1 how you will find it you have to come up here you have to click on hardware and you would when you click on this this guy you would see this IP address here 192.168.0.1 now next thing is you have to select this IP address from here because you see this is the IP address of your PLC SIM or PLC you have to select OK and then you have to start this server now it's running next thing after that is go to the Capware server which you can actually download from their website I'm using Capware version 5 so the software Capware would open up you have to click on new project click yes update make sure you follow it exactly to avoid any issue click on add new channel you have to click here you have to write here Siemens you can actually give it Siemens and you have to give it Siemens TCP IP so select this option as Siemens TCP IP Ethernet select next you have to select the adopter I am selecting the 70.1 you remember this 70.1 we are actually getting the same adopter here select next and click on finish now you have to click on this and put s7 here click next and give it s7 300 because our CPU is s7 300 CPU you have to give the same IP address make sure this should be exactly this guy 192.168.70.1 so make sure that 192.168.70.1 okay so next thing is you have to click on next 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 and finish you have to select on tax give it a yeah, for a digital signal you can say digital or you can name it any signal but I'm just keeping it digital you can name it any any address but I'm I kept it a digital and then here you can select m0.0 so you just remove this option rest of the things click OK apply and select ok let's see you have to get into the quick line to see the digital value is coming up or not so you have to come up here you see the boolean value that's one if you try to change it from here if you press this it should become zero let's see it's becoming now zero we have to close it now we would get also analog value click new tag and then give it uh, an analog and then you have to actually select address from here you have to come up here MW these are MW's so we have to get into MW this is the word type so 
what was the address of our value our value at our address was mw2 so i'm selecting the same address there mw2 this mw2 so i will try to give a same address there so give it mw and 2 click this okay apply and then select okay client quick uh, client from here and then see the value you can see the value is 70 here which is written there also from simulator if you give it a value for example 80 you would should see the same value on the capware server where is that quick client here so you would see the values now updated to 80 so next thing is to get that value to a SCADA software for that you have to right click here and you have to run as administrator it will take a while and then this software is going to open next thing is to create a new app you can give it OPC test and then you click new app next finish and that's it you can open up this app and then you have to follow this step okay till the time that app actually this opens which we can see later on we have to come up here you have to come up here and create new here and you have to name it opc connect select this s7 from here the one you created now this you can define the same thing you copy that in your scatter software which would be right now i think opened if not we can try opening it let's see yeah now this guy is open up uh in touch we which we actually run it from there first of all uh, do one thing create a window new window name it as w1 and then you have to come up here you have to get into the special and then access names add access name give the same same uh which you copied from there opc connect and you have to give a same name here and here you have to give it server runtime so now you have defined your access for our opc server next thing is to define a simple double click on that get into the discrete and then you have to give it a digital digi for example not gigi it should be digi for a digital and we are defining that tag select ok get back here and try to give a type to that it's io discrete yes and then you have to give it a access name opc connect click ok and then uh, you can actually close this and give it address here what was our address address was m0.0 .0. okay now for a true color we have to give it a green if it is actually one if it is not one it should be red select ok and then for a, an analog value what we would do we would take some sort of uh, other options from here which are actually available so you have to come up here meters and get that meter here so give it a value uh, try to give it a 600 value here so that you can see more things here and we are going to give it a address for example we can say that the mw2 is level so sell, you have to select ok it will ask you to define that you have to say yes you have to come up here and you have to create a, you have to get io integer select ok access type and click on this and then click ok and then after that you have to close this guy and give it mw you have to give it mw002 or you can give it mw02 save and you have to close it uh, get into the runtime you see the value there now let's get into the simulator and try to play around so this is our plc and we are going to change a, we are going to change a value this one you see we define gr green for a one and let's try to give a value like for example six 
uh, 60 for example you see the values change maybe you can't see it you have to change it to 400 you see the values change there so that's how you actually communicate a data between Siemens PLC S7300 PLC sim simulator and a SCADA software by using a OPC server if this video helps you it certainly help us if you hit the like button and subscribe this youtube channel to watch more amazing videos like this thanks for watching till next video take care and allah is